Installing Windows on a Mac is not as crazy as it sounds. Windows opens up a lot of opportunities with a wide catalog of games, software compatibility, and also just a different operating system experience. The Mac has a built-in utility called Boot Camp that'll make this whole installation process super simple. I'm Robert Rosenfeld with the Apple Circle, and here's how to install Windows on your Mac. If you guys want to see the latest Apple news, reviews on the latest products, and just talking about all things Apple in more videos like this, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe to the Apple Circle and hit that bell so you're notified about all our upcoming videos. So before we get started, you'll need to check a few things on your Mac. You'll want to make sure your Mac is compatible with the newest version of this boot camp installation process. You can check this by clicking the Apple logo in the upper left-hand corner of the screen and then click About This Mac. As long as you have a 2015 Mac or newer or a 2013 Mac Pro or newer, you are good to go. If you have a Mac older than those years, you'll still be able to install Windows with Boot Camp, but your process may look a little bit different, but just follow along for now. You'll also need a legitimate copy of Windows 10 in ISO format for this installation. These can be purchased and downloaded directly from Microsoft in the link down below. And if you do choose to download directly from Microsoft, be sure to choose the April version as the October version isn't compatible with this bootcamp process at the time of publishing this video. Go ahead and choose your language, select 64-bit, and then a download should start of the ISO automatically and be dropped into your downloads folder. So let's actually start the installation process. Start by opening up the Bootcamp Assistant by searching for it in Spotlight. You can click the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner of the display, start typing Bootcamp and click the first option. Once the Bootcamp Assistant is open, we can follow along with the prompts that it gives us. If you have an older Mac, you'll have to be guided through the process of creating a Windows 10 installer on a separate USB drive. Just follow along with the steps that it gives you and Bootcamp will do the rest of the work for you. If you have a newer Mac, you'll be prompted to locate the Windows 10 ISO file on your system, or Bootcamp will probably automatically detect it. And below that, you'll be prompted to allocate a portion of your drive storage space for the Windows operating system and files. Simply drag the size of the box around to adjust the size of each OS's storage space. If you want more space for your Mac's applications and documents, keep that Mac box larger, and vice versa if you want Windows larger. Next, Bootcamp will do its thing and download some additional drivers and software, and it will divide up the space on your internal drive. Don't go too far away while this is happening. Bootcamp is gonna prompt you for your admin password. You'll need to enter that for Bootcamp to kind of finish things up. Your Mac will now restart automatically, and you'll be taken into the setup portion of Windows 10. Go ahead and select your language and click Next. You'll be asked to provide a product key to activate Windows. If you purchase one, go ahead and enter it in now. If not, you can skip this step for now and come back to it later. Go ahead and choose the version of Windows you'll be installing. Carefully read and agree to the licensing agreement. You may be prompted to choose and install disk for this bootcamp partition. From the list on the screen, go ahead and choose bootcamp and then click the eraser icon next to the format button and then click OK and it'll format the disk. Click next and you're good to go. So now Windows is actually going to go through its installation process. This is your chance for a stack break. You can step away for a bit and come back in about 30 minutes and things should be all done. After a short time, your Mac will reboot and you'll be again dropped into the setup portion of Windows 10. Go ahead now and walk through the process to get all of your information inputted, your user account, your password, and all that stuff. After that's all done, you'll be dropped to the desktop and you're almost done with this process. A box is gonna open up automatically, prompting you to download some additional bootcamp drivers to get Windows working correctly with all of the Mac peripherals and all the internals. Follow the prompts and let everything install. Once that's done, you're gonna to wanna to head to the Windows Start menu and type Update and choose the Check for Updates option. Windows is probably going to need to download a bunch of updates, so again, you'll need to give your computer some time to let all these updates download and install. One final reboot and you are done. You now have a fully functional Windows partition on your Mac that you can access at any time using all the power and all the built-in internals that your Mac has to offer. If you're in Windows and you're ready to head back into Mac OS at any time, you'll wanna head down to the bottom right-hand corner of the display and click that kind of gray triangle, it's the bootcamp icon, and then select Restart to Mac OS. If you wanna switch between Mac OS and Windows, you'll wanna restart your Mac and hold down the Option key before you see the Apple logo. You'll then have two options to choose from. And there you go, you've got both Windows 10 and Mac OS running peacefully and in harmony on your Mac, and you can choose to switch between them whenever you want to. If you like videos like this, be sure to click that thumbs up button and let us know you guys want to see more videos like this. I'm Robert Rosenfeld with the Apple Circle. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.